What's up, Bunny? How you doing? Have a good evening. What's up, YouTube? We're back in the shed once again with another little DIY install video. Nothing too crazy and nothing you probably can't figure out on your own, but I decided I wanted to do it. I thought I'd take you along for the uh, journey just to kind of see if this works out. So I'm doing a little custom DIY gas jug because as you can tell, I'm a bit uh, anal and OCD and I like things to match. As you can also tell by my color schemes on my Instagram, have a look. follow button while you're there why not so the 850 is a beauty but I'm noticing on the long trips it's a tiny bit of a pig on gas and anybody who owns an Outlander probably agrees with me so I'm realizing I'm gonna need to carry a gas jug and I hate putting all that effort into color coordinating my red cover my key wench straps the halos when they're on even got new gloves that are orange I got that down there and then I'm gonna stick a bright red gas can on the back rack I don't think so. I gotta have it match. That's just me. So I already painted it. It's pretty similar to the uh, way I did the rag cover, all the prep. So I just sanded it down, um, scuffed it up, then gave it a good cleaning, make sure all the dust was gone. Then I put two coats of black primer. I guess you could use white primer, it really doesn't matter. Then I hit it with the color I wanted to use, which for me is an almond. It's as close to the desert tan as I could find. It is a paint plus prime, but I still like to put a primer down anyway, just to add a few uh, extra layers there to you know, avoid the red showing through if something chips, fingers crossed. Again, I'm no pro. Then after I put three coats of the tan on there, I hit it with, uh, I can't remember either one coat or two coats of the clear coat. So yeah, I just used the primer, then I hit it with the color that I wanna use, and then I put the clear coat on there that's supposed to protect it and all that stuff. Whether it works or not, I don't know. And that brings us to now. So now, here's what I'm gonna do. I dug out some old rubber that I got kicking around, and my thought is whatever I can avoid rubbing on the actual painted plastic, the better. So I'm gonna have a piece of this adhered onto the bottom of the gas jug. That way, when it's rubbing on here, it won't actually uh, rub any paint off. Oh, and by the way, this is how it turned out. Doesn't that look so much better than having a bright red gas jug back there? That's the same paint I used on that, and I mean, it looks pretty good. So anyway, back to what I was saying, I've got, this is gonna go on the bottom, and then I found this strip, which actually might be perfect, just to wrap around here somehow, so that when I put a ratchet strap on, it's not uh, rubbing the paint off. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut some of this, put some adhesive on there, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. If I was smart, I would have put uh, some gas in here. So that there'd be some weight on that. Instead, I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit, scroll through Instagram, and then just let uh, just let it sit for a couple hours before I come out and uh, do the top part. Giver. All right, quick little break. Different day, nice and sunny. Just out biking with the little fella. And I had to elaborate on what I said earlier about me being a little weird and having to match everything. I, I just couldn't resist. Uh, here. Yeah, I had to take the tube off and uh, replace it for the bike. So I figured, you know, I already got this off. Why not strip it down, make it match the, the Audi? I mean, how can you not? All right, back to the video. All right, time to get back at it. Uh, the glue should be all dried on here. So that's our base. That's the part that's gonna sit on the back rack. I got a little crazy with the adhesive and some of it kind of spilled out, but you can just kind of play with that and rub that off and, you know, clean that up if you want to, or, then we're gonna be seeing again really, so who cares? So now, next step, final step really. I gotta figure out exactly where the ratchet strap's gonna sit. Then I'm just gonna adhesive that on there 
That way it's rubbing on the rubber instead of on the plastic and hopefully it doesn't wear it off as much. It's gonna go there. Now I'm fussing with this more than I need to because I want this to lay as flat as possible. And this way, when you're ratcheting it, you're rubbing on the rubber instead of wearing your paint off. So as you can tell, all the contact points on the bottom, across the top, and where you ratchet are all on the rubber. So that should protect the paint. So then obviously all you gotta do is worry about chipping the paint, the rocks, sticks, trees, things that are gonna happen, but the less we can damage it, the better. Let's get to the next step. Just gonna take the ratchet strap back off and glue the rubber on. Okay, time to stick her in place without getting too much glue everywhere. I'll push her down this way. Laying flat. And I'll stick a bungee around it to keep the pressure on. There we go. And if you're doing it this way, just make sure that the plastic of the bungee is again on the rubber just to protect the paint. Then the next step's just gonna be putting it on the wheeler. So we'll give this a little time to dry. Be right back. Quick little comparison. Comparing the 650 and the 850 real quick. That'll do it. All right, waited a couple hours for the glue to dry. It obviously needs longer than that to fully cure, but it's I'm not gonna be out on the machine for a little bit. So this is good enough now just to uh, wrap this process up. So without further ado, let's see how she looks on the 850. Not a crazy hard install, just a little idea I had. Thought I might share it with you guys, see if you know something you'd be interested in or not. Like I said, I'm a little weird when it comes to things matching, a little anal about that stuff. And also, it's a 10 liter, two gallon, two and a half gallon jug. So if you're gonna carry around a couple grand worth of gas, it might as well look good, right? Anyway, catch you guys in the next video, hopefully. Uh, I got some more install videos coming, some more mudding, some more riding videos coming up, I promise. So that stuff's coming real soon. So like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. And I'll see you next time. Peace.